We're going to talk about building a fish arrow, and this is some of the equipment that you're going to need. You're going to have to have a solid fiberglass shaft. We talked about that in last week's tip. You'll need you a fish point arrow. Then you'll need the safety slide and the stop. You'll need a, an appropriate pounded string. This just happens to be 200 pound flash flight string. Some of the tools you need, you'll need a cordless drill or a drill press so you can fix the fish point to the, to the fiberglass shaft and an epoxy. In this case, we're gonna use goat tough. So one of the first things that you wanna do is you wanna get your fiberglass shaft, get your point, put it on the end of the shaft, and now you can either take a pencil and you can mark it, but what I like to do is get everything in place, go ahead and drill down through it, and then that way everything comes through. And I've already pre-drilled this one, but that way the hole goes straight through. I've taken a brass brazen rod, and I put it in there and I cut it off where it would just fit barely missing the outside edges. Now I would take a hammer and I would brad those over and that keeps your tip from coming off. So when you shoot a fish, carp, big gar, you can unscrew the tip, you can roll the little tines down like that, pull your arrow out, you get back in there, then you screw the tip back on and now your tines are back in place and they'll keep air from back. You got your bare shaft, then you have your safety slide and it goes on one way, this kind of horseshoe shaped, has two little hooks, that goes on toward the knock, right here. Then you have the safety stop. There's already a pre-drilled hole in this shaft for that. You wanna put that safety stop in place. And you may wanna get you a tap to start the threads on it, keep you from injuring yourself, but then you just take a Phillips screwdriver and you affix that stop to that to the fiberglass shaft. Then when you connect your string, it keeps your shaft from coming off the other end. You're gonna put your top, your uh, fish point back on, fix it. Now you can brad that down. Your safety stop will slide down, make sure it's free floating. You take your fish string. Come around the back side. Go through that hole. There's that little groove. It's tied in. The string is going to fit in this groove as it comes back. You take and make a little loop in your string. Put the end in. Go around the string, come back over and through. Then when you fix it to your air, you want a little slack to where the string will hang down. And then when you shoot, your air is gonna go that way, your safety slide's gonna come back, and then you can retrieve your air every time. Simple process, but we make sure that we brad ours so we don't lose our points. That's a simple way to make fish air. I'm Dave Lenning, that's your tip of the week and we'll have you pumping blood.